Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another video and this video is actually going to be my Sephora haul. So let's go ahead and jump right in before something happens to this camera, which is already trying to do right now. Okay, so the first thing I actually picked up while I was in the store is the foundation that I'm wearing. I basically didn't purchase it, but I did happen to get a sample of it and it is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Cuba. I went ahead and I picked this up and I really do like this. Um, the lady was telling me that it's just like a BB cream or it is a BB cream or a CC cream, something like that. But I really wanted something that was just really nice and dewy for summer. And so when she told me about this, I was like, hmm, I really went to the store for the near sheer glow foundation. I knew that was what I wanted. But when she told me about this, I was just like, can you make me a sample of that? And she was like, sure. So um, I'm actually wearing it today. And I must say, I do like it. And I definitely think it's going to be something that I will be purchasing and the future. Of course, the next thing that I picked up is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I am in the color Syracuse. And when I was originally going to order from Sephora online, and I'm so glad that I didn't um, purchase from the online store because I would have got the color completely mixed up. Um, when I went into the store at first they told me I actually wore Barcelona and then they said maybe I could get away with wearing Cadiz which was the one I was going to order at home and then finally she was just like let me try one more foundation and that's when she tried the Syracuse. So I'm really happy that I have the correct foundation. Um, the last video that I done for you guys, I didn't have on a lot of face makeup. That was because I actually went into Sephora to get color matched, um, which was the, what video was that? April Favorites, the one right before this one. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But um, that was the foundation that I had on yesterday. So I'm kind of just trying out different foundations, but I must say I really like the way this one looks in my viewfinder. Also, another reason, if you guys see me looking over towards the viewfinder, the reason for that is my camera has been acting really funny here lately with the SD card. And while it's saying that it's the proper SD card for this camera, for some reason it will stop in the middle of recording. So it's kind of crazy and I'm trying to keep an eye on that too while I'm focusing in on you guys. But that's what's going on. Um, another thing that I was really interested in getting while I was there was some of the Glam Glow products. I've heard so many wonderful things about Glam Glow that I wanted to give them a try. And so the one that I actually picked up is the one that's in the black tube. They had this in the little travel section of Sephora as you get ready to check out. Um, so this is the Hollywood California Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingling Exfoliator. I haven't used this yet. But I am going to be doing a skincare video hopefully within the next couple of months. I know the person that actually requested that I do a skincare video. Um, and I think I even mentioned it maybe in my April favorites. I think the reason why is I'm changing up and I want to test out some different brands and so forth before I actually do a skincare video because um, the line that I used to use for my skincare has is no longer making skincare items. So. Anyway, I'm going to be trying this and see how this works. Last night, I actually tried a different one. I want to say um, I tried the one, I don't know in what jar it would be in. I want to say I tried the one in the white jar last night, the one that's like a kind of a mud and you leave it on your face and it's like blue. Anyway, I tried that one last night and... Um, I do like that one. I didn't feel that it really dried my face out. And as you guys know, I have dry, um, dry combination skin. My T-zone happens to get oily. All the rest of my face is pretty much dry. And it didn't really um, do anything. And after that, I put my acne medication on over it, which is just a moisturizer. I use the Clean and Clear moisturizer, and I've talked to you guys about that before. Um, so, yeah, I just put that over top of it, and I think it really did a good job. Um... And it didn't irritate any existing bumps or anything that I already had on my face. Like I have one here that I really tried to cover up today. Um, and that's hormonal, of course. And you know, I already told you guys that I tend to break out when it's around about that time. But anyway, um, so far so good with that mask. So that's one that I definitely like. And then she also gave me a sample of the Hydrate and Mud Mask. And she told me to apply this one actually and leave it on overnight. And she said when I wake up in the morning time, my face would feel just so hydrated. So I'm actually going to do that. I think I might actually do it tonight. Um, 
since I used the other one and they said that one would kind of like dry out any blemishes or anything. So I think I'm going to try to put some moisture back into my face either tonight or tomorrow night. Um, but I will definitely can give you guys a review on this. I probably will give you a review on it um, if I'm going to purchase full sizes of it because Glam Glow is expensive. But yeah, so I'm trying these out and I think I already told you about this one, the Youth Mud. Um, so I haven't tried this one either, but that's what it looks like. And they smell okay. They don't really smell bad. The um, Hydrate and Run smells really good. And I definitely want to try that one. Then I also picked up the Clarisonic. This is the Lux Satin Precision High Performance Brush. I picked this up. Um, I needed a new brush for my Clarisonic Plus. So I decided why not go ahead and give this one a try. Um, I will say that it is a completely different clean than the clean that you normally get with your Clarisonic. Um because that brush is so much more flush to your face this one kind of sticks out a little bit um but it says satin precision features a dynamic dual layer design that is gently cleanses delicate contour zones of the face such as the nose lips around the eyes i normally don't use mine around the eyes but i guess it is soft enough to do that guys um cleansing is six times better than hands while some stent simultaneously increasing the skin's natural hydration levels so this is really good if you're just someone that wants to really I guess kind of remove dirt and oil off your face um, as you have the brusher heads it's more like they exfoliate because it's a lot closer um, to your skin kind of thing so so far so good I'm still kind of using my old Clarisonic brush head though because I just don't feel with this one I get the clean feeling. My face is probably clean already but I just don't feel that it cleanses like the regular brushes. Okay so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you own the Clarisonic you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can tell if something goes wrong with that with the Clarisonic you guys can tell you just know because you don't feel that your face is being as clean as it possibly can and then the next thing I picked up of course was some hand food from Soap and Glory they're still carrying this luckily so I just went ahead and picked some of this up my nails here have been awful lately and that's also why I haven't been posting any nail pics on Instagram is because I'm just trying to build my nails back up I don't know I think it's because I'm not really getting my dairy in like I should be um and that's another whole story but anyway um I think that has something to do with it because they've just been really breaking easily here and I'm not going to blame it on the nail polishes or anything like that that I'm using and I never use pure acetone to remove any of my nail polishes but for some reason my nails just haven't really been as strong as they used to be and they've been just getting like where you get the double nail and all this other stuff so it's kind of crazy you know but um and the chipping and all that stuff so um i got some of this because I know this works really good at just kind of help repairing your hands and then the next thing I picked up was the UB moisture skin cream and I actually picked this up for my daughter and my husband my husband and my daughter both have like little mild mild eczema and so you can use it on your skin but my daughter also has this problem where her lips stay chapped like all the time and I've been trying different kind of chapsticks I even tried the um, the the ones by Nivea that, that I use um, that work really well for me but nothing seems to be really helping her lips out so we're gonna try this I think so far so good I applied the first application yesterday and it worked pretty well so hopefully this will be something that will help her and then while I was there I also picked up one nail polish while I was in there okay that's not cool and I was wondering what that noise was in the store um so anyway I went ahead and I picked up the color danger zone this is just a really pretty color it's like a pink orange color and it has like some little um, pink sparkles in it too so this is going to be a really pretty color I think for summer and it'll probably go pretty good with my eye color um, as well so anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video um, those are just some things that I happened to pick up while I was in Sephora a lot of the things I went in there for I didn't that Sephora didn't actually carry 
because it's not a higher volume store and I don't live near a higher volume Sephora so that was the reason why but anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video if you're new please subscribe also don't forget you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you guys next week I hope everyone has a happy and safe weekend and I will talk to you guys later bye